In the previous video, we worked with data types in Kotlin and we covered float and double data types. This video will be a continuation of the previous one and we will explore some more data types. Very often in programming, we need data types that have two values like on and off, yes or no, or true and false. To represent such data types, we have Boolean in Kotlin and it can contain values which are true or false. Now we are going to see how we can declare a Boolean variable. So I'm going to type var and I'm going to call it my true. And I'm going to define the type for it. It will be a Boolean and its value equal to true. And in the same manner, I'm going to define my false variable. I'm going to set its type to Boolean and I'm going to set the value to false. And now I'm going to print the value on the output window. So for that, I'm going to call the function print ln and I'm going to pass in the, the my true variable. Now I'm going to run the program to see the output. So our program is up and running and we can see we have true printed in the output window. We also have some built-in operations on the Boolean data type and they are a disjunction. And we can also call it a logical or. Then we have a conjunction and we can call it logical and. And finally we have a negation and we can call it a logical not. So for this junction, we have this uh, two pipe symbols. For conjunction, we have ampersand and for negation, we have this exclamation point. So let's see how we can use these logical operations. So I'm going to call this print ln function and I'm gonna pass in the variable my true and I'm gonna use the disjunction operator. So I'm gonna type or symbol and I'm gonna use another variable my false then i'm going to call print ln again and i'm going to pass my true and this time i'm going to use the and operator and finally i'm going to use in the not of logical not operator so i'm going to type print ln not my true so the result of this statement will be true because the way our operator works is that if one of the operand is true, then the result will be true. And the result of this statement will be false because the way and operator works is that both the operands, this one and this one should be true. Then the result will be true, otherwise it will be false. And the not operator simply returns the inverse value. So if I pass true here, it will be returned as false. And if I pass false here, this will return true. So let's go ahead and run the program to see the output. So our program is up and running and we can see we have true. And the result of this statement is true. Then we have false and then the opposite of true would be false. We also have characters in Kotlin, which are represented by the type char or char, whatever you call it and characters go inside single quotation marks. So to define a character, I'm going to type var and I'm gonna set the name of the variable to my char and it will be a char and I'm gonna set it equal to a. So that's how we define a character. And now I'm going to print the value on the console. So I'm gonna type print ln and I'm going to pass in the variable my char. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run the program to see the output. And we can see that A is printed on the output window. We also have some special characters in Kotlin. So for example, we have a backslash N. So this is used to print a new line. So that's it for this video. And in the next videos, we will look at control flow statements in Kotlin.